What's up, everyone? Herb Thrasher with 420 Radio standing here. Got a great show in town tonight. These guys have been on the road. Got a brand new album we're going to talk about. Got a tour that we're going to talk about, and that is Gumby from Battlecross Metal Blade Records. How you doing, Gumby? And how's the tour going so far? You guys have been in Canada, working your way in Idaho last night. What's up with the tour so far? Just been doing a great tour, man. Love Fuck Sport and Guar. They're, having, they're a great band to you know support, and they're always nice and it's fun, you know, just being around dudes that love to do what they're doing. So it's awesome. They have the passion for it. So it's yeah, cool. yeah. Battle Cross uh, definitely has some energy. Uh, if you guys have been following the last few years, you know, it must be fun being with a band like Guar because you can totally let loose and, and be whoever you want to be. And that's yeah. part of what Battle Cross music from the beginning. You guys kind of started out with the music you guys wanted to play, and now we're in album three, Rise to yeah. Power, you guys just released through Metal Blade Records in August. It feels like it's battle cross moving forward. Oh yeah, we're trying to, you know, that's what that's what you gotta do these days, you just gotta keep going, you just gotta push, push, as soon as it, it's kinda like, it's kinda funny, like people be like, oh yeah, you're working on new stuff? I'm like, I literally just released this shit like two months ago. Like, they're like, when's the new stuff? I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'll go write some more new stuff. So you just, you just gotta keep going. You just gotta keep keep your foot on the gas. Never stop. You know that's that's how we roll. I mean we're we're a heavy touring band. Like people will actually quit the band because we tour too much. No, but uh, it's it's we just tour. I mean that's our thing. If if we're not out playing, we're not growing. We're not getting towards the goal of you know living the battle cross dream, which is just doing battle cross. Well, that's how we're, you guys we're trying to get there. You guys have always been like that, whether it's playing yeah. with a, a technical death metal band like Origins or something, or maybe if Clutch called you guys, you know, oh, yeah. play with Clutch, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, so it doesn't matter. You guys can yeah. just fit right in with the battle cross energy, and people kind of relate and do that thing. As are we talking about brand new release, Rise to Power, and I'm Gumby. Breathing a white fly. White flies. We're definitely in Portland right now, and although we're legalized, got some great changes in there. We also have an environmental change, and that's a bunch of white flies. So we're standing here in downtown Portland, and uh, you'll have to excuse us every now and then if we eat a white fly. But uh, Gumby, you've definitely been working hard. You know, those of us in the cannabis community, we we get, we get high and we go higher. And you have been working on your highs within your singing, because you're oh, yeah. you're definitely higher now. Just to, for some of the vocalists out there, talk about how you've been working on that. Uh, it's actually a, it, it comes with the realization of you have this thing called a microphone that's right here. It amplifies the sound of your voice. So most people think you got to be loud as shit. You've got to be the loudest person in the room. No, you have a microphone. Use this thing. It's a microphone. Get your wedges right and sing through your nose and up over the pencil. It's just. Is there's a lot of little you know mechanical tricks that you can do to get higher and not hurt your voice. It's just, it's just understanding. It's going through it. Like I had a horrible time just when we were starting, like to keep the same. And I was just like, oh, I can hit it. You know, I, I know when I'm going out and I know when to cup the mic, when to not cup the mic, how to you know change my stuff. But it just all comes from practice. You know, yeah. you just got to practice. You've got to get your your instrument is your body. Right here, it's a whole thing from your toes up to your fucking hair. You're, you're about you're you're the instrument, and you've just gotta hone it. And most people also they, they think that it's, it's how loud you can scream. It's not how loud you can scream. You'll fuck yourself up. You won't be able to do a two month tour. We're on a two month tour right now. The longest stretch I've went playing is 18 shows in a row. Wow. 18 shows in a row, no days off. Wow. And if you think you can do that. Doing the same old fucking same old. I'll see you at home, brother. That is Battlecrass, though. If you've been following this whole time from even back before, push, pull, destroy, you knew that they have been touring the whole time. And as I mentioned, playing with so many bands, I don't even think they've ever stopped being from Michigan. Maybe every now and then going home for a second and yep. seeing mom, but that's about it, hitting the road again. And so great stuff. The guitars on this album are just totally the harmonizing, the togetherness, the guitars. You guys are totally on it. So it's a great album, Rise to Power through Metal Blade Records, just released in August, and so you guys definitely check out Battlecross. And so, uh, Gumba, you're here in legalized Portland, Oregon. Uh, did you smell us coming in? I mean, did you no, know, I like, sleep? <laughs> I was asleep. Well, have you had a chance to no, check out? Uh, no, I had to go get an oil change. <laughs> this, or we're going to have to do was, something about that. Responsible. Yeah, I, what time is it? Six? Too close to showtime. Is there cotton mouth kills? All right, weed is fucking beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, but you still gotta be professional. Yeah. Cotton mouth kills. Yeah. Your vocal cords. 
There you go. We were just so, talking about so vocals. So just, just wait till after the show. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Right on. It must be a trip, though. You know, you guys were in Washington, legalized state. Yeah. Then you go to Idaho, you know Prohibition that. state. Now yeah. you're back in Oregon, legalized state. Going to be in Nevada, Prohibition state. It's a trip how the country's going right now with marijuana, isn't it? Trip, man. I can't wait for all the bullshit to be over with. Well, Michigan, you guys are trying to yeah. do some oh, things yeah. there. I'm hearing we're, some good things. We're medically legal. Uh, you can have uh, 72 plants if you're a full caregiver, 2.5 ounces per card, um, all the fucking clones you want. All, you know, it's, it's a great time to live there as well. <laughs> right I on. mean, if, you, if you're not, it's fun. I talked to you one time a few years ago, and uh, you mentioned hemp. And uh, I've, I've been doing a lot of interviews. I'm no Jose Mangan or anything. What's up, Jose? I'm no Jose, but I have done a lot of interviews, and you're the only one to ever even mention the word hemp. And I'm oh, yeah. proud to tell you that uh, with all the laws and everything that has changed now, we actually have nine farmers in the state of Oregon oh, that so actually good. have planted hemp ready for the crop and to grow this thing and to see where the industry goes. And oh, so, I, that's you know, it that's, is. That's even more exciting because we're going to get away from foreign oil. We're going to get all away from all the bullshit. We're going to be able to start making cleaner cars. We're going to make cleaner environments, cleaner everything, more healthier fucking proteins for your body. Just beautiful stuff. And I, I, it, it gets, it, it's bullshit that, that hemp got limp, limped in with cannabis because it was a cash crop. You know, check your popular science. Yeah. Uh, 1958, I think it was, the article came out. It was It's the next cash crop, and then all of a sudden, it's illegal as fuck. That's right. I was going to get put my money in the fucking farmers and less money in Rockefeller, so fuck that guy. That's right. There you go, folks. Gumby speaking good words right there. All right, guys, Battlecross, brand new release, Rise to Power through Metal Blade Records. And uh, we're going to be playing uh, in a second uh, Not Your Slave. You guys released that as the first single from this uh, album. Yeah. Tell everyone about that track before we get into it. Uh, the track's pretty much just about uh, not... You know, you got passive aggressive people in your life that try to make you feel bad for making your choices. And, oh, you didn't make my choice. And, oh, you don't want to do this. Oh, my God. And, oh, everyone's against me. And, oh, it's not my fault. Blah, 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 blah. No, it's fuck you. It's your fault. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not your fucking slave. Right on. It's a great track. Get out there. Battle cross tonight in Portland with Guar. Going to be on the road in Nevada and all throughout the U.S. As Gumby mentioned, they are always touring. So get out there and check them out for Gumby and Battle Cross. I'm Third Thrasher, 420 Radio. Take it easy from Potland. Legalize it. Yeah.